It's Pelair today and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the RGB waves effect in After Effects and yeah I don't know I'm on the like kind of RGB flow now recently made the liquid RGB so yeah I really like this uh, kind of uh, RGB effects looks very cool in my opinion I hope you guys also think they look cool and if you guys don't know my name is Pelle Sjöberg I run the editing visuals website where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to really enhance your editing save you a lot of time hours days we're talking about now and really boost your workflow so if that's something you're interested in be sure to check out my website now let's get into the tutorial so here i'm in after effects i'm using uh, a clip here from molly, molly santana's music video uh, chain swinging what i'm going to be doing uh, to start off with is basically rotor brush out uh, molly santana in this uh, in my scenario here, uh, so you're going to be rotor brushing out your artist or whatever uh, you guys uh, have as a clip. But uh, if you guys don't know how to rotor brush, I've made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description down below. After you have rotor brushed, you will get this look here, the cutout version. And I'm going to make two cups of this, so Control D, Control D. I'm going to name this background. So I'm going to Go to the layer, delete the rotor brush effect to get the background back. So now which one is the rotor brush uh, layer? Then the top one effect I'm gonna type. So we're going to be starting off by adding some effects to the effect rotor brush layer. And the first effect we're going to be adding is called flicker. And we're adding this effect to make the RGB waves on uh, Molly Santana basically move uh, and change a lot and that's why we're adding it as one of the first effects so on the amplitude i'm going to be increasing it to 0.4 and i'm going to do the same with random color amplitude 0.4 as well so it's going to be changing uh, color a little bit it's going to be looking stuff like this so far after that i'm going to be adding pseudo colors and it's going to give you this look here and on frequency i'm going to set it to 10 so we get these color waves here and I'm going to key from the frequency at 10 in the beginning. I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to set the frequency to 30. So it's going to create even more uh, waves as the time goes on. It's going to look something like this so far. And at the same time, I'm going to be keyframing the hue shift as well. So it's going to be changing colors as well. So if I go to the ending, I'm going to set it to 1. So it's going to look something like this here. Very trippy RGB waves here, pretty cool. And after that I'm going to be adding Edge Detect. Here I'm going to set the Edge Move to 6, and then the Saturation to 2. I really want the colors to pop now. And then the Threshold you will have to adjust. I'm going to set it to 0 0.4, so it's going to look something like this. Really trippy and cool now. And then if you guys want to have it more focused on one color, you maybe want to have like blue color waves for example, you can increase the weight blue here and just get blue uh yeah waves if that's uh, uh, some look you guys want to go for but i'm gonna go with the yeah neutral uh, using uh, red green and blue after that i'm going to be adding the glow so i'm going to be adding glint here to make the uh, color waves glitter a little bit and i'm going to set the threshold to 0 0.5 and after that i'm going to be adding deep glow and here I'm going to set the exposure to 0 0.3. And you guys can choose if you guys want to go for the exponential uh, glow mode or the lens iris. I personally really like the lens iris, not gonna lie, so I'm going to go with that one. And when you're uh, done with all of these effects here, you're going to be changing the blending mode of this layer to screen. And this is the look you guys will be getting with the RGB waves all over. Uh, Molly Santana looks very very cool and trippy effect in my opinion and yeah I'm very, very satisfied with this effect here and if you guys want to spice up your effects even more I have a CRT distortion preset pack and I'm going to be showing you guys some looks from that pack so if I uh, disable the deep glow uh, and the glint we can disable both of them so we just have the RGB waves I'm going to be adding an adjustment layer, Control alt y Effects and presets, animation presets, user presets, CRT distortion presets. And this pack is for you who really want to have like very complex, glitchy CRT effects without spending 
hours and days trying to make them, you know, by yourself. So uh, if you're like interested in that, be sure to check out the pack. But uh, here are some looks from the pack. So one of my favorite is the uh, glitchy yellow CRT, and you will get this look here from using yeah the yellow uh, glitchy yellow CRT effect here. Looks really really cool in my opinion, and uh, yeah, I really like this effect. That is one of the effects. Control Alt Y. I could use the ultimate CRT glitch. It's going to look something like this. Insanely clean, in my opinion. Really, really like this. Uh, one of my <laughs> favorite effects uh, in the pack as well. Literally took two seconds to apply it as well. So, you know, can't get better than that. Now, let's go with some destroyed uh, quality CRT. And here, you guys, will get a super, yeah, destroyed, uh, trippy CRT look here. Super cool, in my opinion. And just takes one second to apply it. So, <laughs> I mean, the amount of time you can save on this pack is incredible. And if this is some pack you guys might be interested in, it's going to be a link in the description down below. And yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram, posting there as much as possible, especially on the stories. So yeah, be sure to check it out. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.